Well, what's up, everybody? Mr. Nation Wine here. Got like a uh, new exhaust. Well, just got rid of this box pack. My floor's out of my truck because, uh, you know, too much back pressure and the viper glass in there is just deteriorating. Yeah, it just gave it too much back pressure. It sounds awful, especially when going up a hill. Yeah, it just sounds louder, especially inside the parking garage. Well, I'm at Crouch Valley Mall. It's my day off. I just came to pick up my, my tool chest and just put some of the tools I need uh, in another toolbox, a small one. Yeah, just so on the last day, all we had to do, is, all I had to do is just grab a couple extra tools and uh, you know work boots, work belt, and you know be out here. Yeah, if it's in the back of the truck. Yeah, that's what's underneath that mover's blanket. Oh boy. I just hate when people just walk freaking slow. It made me think that, you know, they're, they're going across the street, but don't do it yet. Especially when I stop. I don't know why people are doing that shit. Let's hear how the plow on the exhaust is. Well, let's see. Well, actually, I'm on level four, so I'm supposed to be. I think I missed a turn. It's supposed to go down that, down the hill. It goes level three, two, and then the ground level. Okay, in this case, I ain't paying attention. Well, the exhaust is louder anyway. You should be able to hear me coming through. All right. Oh, wait a minute. No, never mind. The freaking ramp was in a different direction. So anyway, we just uh, see how loud we are. Get as much gas. All right, shift her neutral. Yeah, that's how loud we are. You should hear me taking off on the highway. Yeah, especially you know the trip from uh, Selma to here, which is. Uh, like 30 miles or so it the truck didn't do too bad because like I was going you know 55 60 miles an hour with cruise control of course and you know probably getting better mileage I haven't filled up uh, I haven't gotten to the gas station yet to fill up gas but I'm not gonna put much in because while gas is below two dollars a gallon yeah so I don't think I really had to fill that up because I think payday will be a day earlier anyway since uh, 4th of July is just around that corner Alright, let's go to the other side. I guess you could think of this as a before and after video of the, the exhaust. Oh, and then another thing, uh, I went to clean out the mass airflow sensor and it was completely dark. That little screen from the filter side. Yeah, so I, I cleaned that out with... Uh, that Cerflow sensor cleaner. I think I'm gonna do that every oil change. Yeah, so probably next month I might need a, a new uh, mass Cerflow sensor at some point. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, but that part's like over two hundred dollars. But it's easy to install. Well, I'm thinking to myself, okay, if it's really easy to install, why they had to make it so fucking expensive? That doesn't make any damn sense. They could have at least reduced the reduce it to like 70 bucks maybe that'd be fine yeah yeah but the weird thing is how come the service engine soon light doesn't go off uh, when the mass airflow sensor needs servicing not sure yet there's probably another way to diagnose it is that do some studying on it to make sure Up oh, for Sears. Yep, it's like a drive-through service. I think. I don't know. I've never been in there, so I don't know. I know a couple guys that work there. 
Oh shoot! Now we got the FedEx tractor trailer parked there. I had to get. I had to wait till everybody go on one side, just like so go around. Yeah, especially in front of the shop traffic was uh, crazy. Well, we, uh, they got Henry, who's in my uh, that scrap metal Holland video. We're in Wilson. Well, actually, he's also the same guy as that Chevy Celebrity that I filmed the exhaust clip of that uh, of his car I on, where he, he had the let's see the dual uh, pipes going uh, on the driver's side of the car behind the rear wheel. Yeah, so, uh, well, back uh, when he was taking off, you know, that car was so loud, it sounds like an S10 taking off. I had the same engine, that 2.8 liter G6, and then he finally pulled like a, well, yeah, he had a thrust welded muffler. It was like a split one. But come on, is this person going? Yeah, the red car is supposed to, supposed to leave first anyway, and then I go, but this person is just fucking taking too long to make a decision, so it's fucking ridiculous. That was the bus transfer station. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm gonna be on the way back home in car. So uh, we'll catch you later in the next video.